Hey everybody, Braden here, providing you a cheap opinion in politics. And I wanted to dive into this uh, more or less festivist report uh, <laughs> done by Senator Rand Paul from Kentucky. He's a Republican, uh, libertarian-minded. Uh, if the Paul name sounds familiar, he is the son of ex-Congressman Ron Paul, who is a his father is a big libertarian. So that gives you a little bit of background on Senator Rand Paul's ideology and if that name kind of sounds familiar to you. Anyways, he's been doing these reports at the end of the year. He releases them. Uh, it kind of has some connection. I guess the Festivus thing has some kind of connection with Seinfeld because that's what some of the articles point out about it. So, you know, I didn't know he I didn't know he was doing that bad for re-election efforts in, in Kentucky later on. I don't know. Oh, that's pretty bad if you have to stoop to Seinfeld level. I'm kidding. I'm kidding for the Seinfeld audience there. That was I'm just not. Anyways, moving on past my opinion, personal opinions there. Uh, this is a report that has the 2018, what Senator Rand Paul just kind of went through, and in my opinion, just scratching the surface of a you know $4.3 trillion budget. I mean, the, the government budget is huge. But I just wanted to take a time and for, to remind you as a, as a taxpayer uh, where... All our funds are going, what we spend money on. Because some of it's actually, you know, very interesting. I, I, you know, and like I said, this is a 40-page report. Uh, I'm, I'm going to link this uh, description below if you want to, you know, dive in and, and see for yourself a little bit further in. Like, wh what is this entailing and, and so forth. Uh, like I said, each one of these has easily a, a couple of paragraphs about why the why the state department or or health or si the science foundation is spending money in these places but i thought it would just be kind of nice to just briefly look at where we're where we're spending money so the first one i kind of want to just point out was the uh this one this one's too good and i'm gonna i'm gonna try and highlight it oh my god i don't want to highlight the whole document no bad break no no bear with me bear with me okay right there that you see that i've highlighted this is a good one. The health spent, uh, uh, we, we studied the sexual habits of quails on cocaine. And we spent $875,000 on that. I thought that was pretty interesting. That one actually, when I first read this report, that, that just had me burst out laughing. That was, that was too, that was too freaking funny. We basically almost blew a million dollars. Now, mind you, this is out of 4.3 trillion. I mean, what's a million dollars to, to, to some of these people, but, but generally speaking, I'm just like, what? Wait, why would, what? No, come on. You gotta be serious. All right. Here's, here's another one. This is another good one. Oh God, this is too good. I've always wanted, oh, oh my God, right here, right here. This Right here. Oh my God. What in the world? We blew leaf blowers at lizards. That was another $75,000. So between these two, between the sexual habits of quail and the, and the lizard blowing, blowing uh, wind at, at lizards, uh, we've, we've already hit about $950,000. Good Lord. All right, there's uh, one more I kind of wanted to cover before. I mean, there's some other ones that are, you know, eh, I could kind of see. Like, uh, I'll point out one that I'm, I'm kind of okay with. Like, okay, putting putting plays on in Afghanistan. The State Department did that. That was about 200000 I could kind of see doing that, you know, as far as we do have troops there and so forth. You know, maybe it's in relation to that. But uh, this was interesting. We, we supported Egyptian uh, tourism. Uh, State Department, not not to confuse it with terrorism, but tourism. Uh, that was eighteen million dollars. So that was interesting. <laughs> good Lord, what in the world? Uh, and then the last one. This one was pretty good. The, this one. This was another. I'm just showing you the ones that really had me laughing because I'm like, what? What? Why the hell are we spending money? Plus, this then equals out to a million dollars, which I just now realized that's that's what I did here. Oh, let me sc scroll up some more here for y'all. So y'all can see it. Y'all can't see the amount behind my head. All right. We also finally, we taught female entrepreneurs in India how to vlog. This is this was money spent out of the State Department. And that was $50,000. So we taught uh, female entrepreneurs in India, in India, how to vlog. 
Okay, if you're not laughing right, if you didn't laugh at the at the leaf blower of li- you know blowing wind at lizards or or you know coked up quail uh, or you know female entrepreneurs being taught how to vlog and so forth, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I just I, I thought that was was kind of like here you go. You, you wanted to look at some of the stuff. Now again, this is only scratching the surface of government waste, but these are just some things that that you can kind of look at. Again, there's some other things, but uh, this was added up to be about $114 million uh, wasted, uh, at least from Senator Rand Paul's perspective. I, like I said, some of it, you're just kind of sitting there going like, oh my God, I cannot believe we spent money on this. And as I said, if you scroll further down in this, uh, it'll break down, you know, a lot more what we're spending money on and so forth. It's a pretty little interesting report, but it's in its third year. But I just thought, I, I especially you know talking about the you know studying the sexual habits of quail on cocaine is just I'm sitting here going, what in the world? Uh, but anyways, I wanted to make this video as I said before. I am going to provide a link to this so you can actually just look at the PDF document. And uh, you know, see some of the other things that we spend money on. But I, I thought those were the, those those are what had me laughing. Uh, coked up quail, uh, and blowing wind at lizards, and teaching people how to vlog. Uh, this is what we do. And then we wonder why uh, people like me complain about waste and government spending. But one of the other reasons why I say that, that this kind of just scratches the surface of it is that you know, look at our military spending. We spend seven hundred and sixteen billion dollars. Okay, out of that amount, about a hundred billion of it is geared toward uh, the operation of our military bases, of U.S. military bases around the world. We have about six hundred. I say about because obviously some of this is going to be top secret. What what can be said to the to the public and so forth? What's public knowledge? But we have over six hundred U.S. military bases. I mean, you cannot sit there and tell me that. Okay, fine, we'll keep all the ones open in the United States, but around the world, do we really need that many U.S. military bases? You know, I mean, this just like, it's, anyways, this also kind of reminds me uh, of a movie that if you haven't ever seen, it's called Dave. It has also that plays the, it's a good actress that plays the first lady, uh, is Sigoni Weaver. Uh, you know, the lady, if you're not sure who that is, uh, that is the lady from the Alien franchise and so forth. Uh, but Sigoni Weaver's in it too. But it, it's funny because Dave is literally Dave is president of the United States, and he's sitting there basically with something the president doesn't have the authority on, which is like a line item veto to go through the budget and go, okay, we don't need this or re, or reconfigure money in a way. But he's trying to save the a nutrition program, and so uh, he tries to find money. And some of the things that we're wasting money on is that we were we were uh, paying contractors we were still paying contractors for work that hadn't even started yet but we were still paying them and so dave's like okay don't you think that we should stop paying them and until they start actually doing something and everybody in the room's like whoa so uh anyways this kind of when, when we're spending money on coked up quail this is kind of what it reminds me of in, in that regard but uh you know let me know your thoughts i i just wanted to share this with y'all and i hope y'all have a good day